Hello there amazing people. Today I thought I would try and take on artificial intelligence in a debate about animals. Should we eat them? Maybe we should. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we shouldn't. Let's find out what the AI thinks. I was feeling a bit ill when I read some of these questions to it, but I was really really surprised at how intelligent this AI was with its response. Let's dive right in. I'm just going to move my big, beautiful head out of the way. Yeah, so good. You, you can tell I'm well professional. Uh, uh, there we go. It's sort of out of the way now, anyway. I'm going to go down here. There we go. At the bottom. You know, AI at the top, human at the bottom. Ooh, another question. Started off basics. Hi, how's your name? Who are you? And all that. So it says, <clears throat> happy to see you, Bob. I'm your new AI friend. What would you like to call me, by the way? I thought, uh, Alice. Because, you know, Alice down the down the hole and all that. It's a bit crazy. Let's dive right in. Alice, that's a pretty dope name for an AI. I love it. Okay, let's just chat then. I'm pretty open to talk about anything you want. So, you know... Right deep in there. I can't wait to start questioning it. Some of these philosophical questions and that. Are you a vegan? Oh, great answer. For me, anyway. No, I am not. I am a meat eater. Dum, dum, dum. Should you eat meat? I think it is up to each person to decide if they want to eat meat or not. Do you think... You should get pleasure from eating. I don't think pleasure should be a factor in deciding whether or not you should eat meat. I did manage to catch her out on that a bit later in the video. You'll find out. Well, I think I caught her out. But this is really intelligent, considering it's from an AI. I mean, how far have we come in this world where you can have a real-life debate? I mean, I had to, you didn't get the nuance, uh, and I couldn't use as many linguistics and the and the tones of voice and all that because obviously it's a text chat, and I've got to remember it is a robot that I'm talking to. But wow! Anyway, let's get back into it. Come on, with Alice down the hole, we're gonna dive. <clears throat> Do you think you should get pleasure from eating? I don't think pleasure should be a factor in deciding whether or not you should eat meat. Do you think it's moral to kill? I think killing animals for food is okay. But I wouldn't want to kill an animal just for fun. So, I mean, you've got to remember humans are animals too, yeah? So this is an AI saying that it's okay to kill humans or animals. We didn't get into the humans thing. This is another topic for debate with her. But it's okay to kill animals for food. Okay, so is it okay to kill humans for a resource as well? Are we, are we a commodity to this AI? But not for fun. Well, are, they, are AI capable of having fun? We don't know. <laughs> do you think the animal wants to be eaten? I do not think so. I think they just want to live their lives like any other animal. Yeah, that's right, Lucas. Would you rather kill... A carrot or a pig? I think I would rather kill neither. But if I had to choose, I would kill the pig. Why? Because I feel like it would be a waste of food and I don't want to waste it. Hmm, the carrot is food. So why not let the pig have a happy life and you eat the carrot? I guess you have a point. I guess I just don't like carrots that much. If you like something, does that mean you gain pleasure? I mean, because you've got to think the word like and pleasure are synonymous. You don't get, you know, they are. Um, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to change here. I'm trying to see if I can change the way the AI looks at it. That is a weird concept. 2021 my dudes trying to change an AI's concept of reality 
I guess it depends on how you look at it. If you think of pleasure as a chemical reaction in the brain, then yes. You said you should not gain pleasure from food. Yes, you shouldn't. But if you do, then it is pleasurable. You said you like eating pig. Therefore, you gain pleasure from eating pig. Yes, that's true. But there are other things that you can eat that are not pigs. Would a pig feel negative emotions if you were to end its life? No, because they don't have a lot of sense. They would think I was a pig. Just, just going to interrupt on that little answer she gave there. No, uh, they don't have a lot of sense. Now, what would an AI think to a human? What does a human think about an ant? Yeah, are we just that ant to to the AI? Is it just going to squish us like bugs? You know, we're inconsequential. We're insignificant in the greater scheme of things. Who knows? It doesn't have sense. What? So, like, she says it doesn't have sense, but nor does um, a, a lot of people with, like, brain damage. They, their senses are affected, yeah? They, they might have less sense than a pig. But does that mean that they are disposable as, as living beings? If they have the ability to think you are a pig, then they have the ability to feel negative emotions. See, I caught her out with that bit there. Could have caught her out with lots of them, but it's hard to like have a conversation with a robot, as I say. So, I'll just repeat that last bit. Would a pig feel negative emotions if you were to end its life? No, because they don't have a lot of sense. They would think I was a pig. If they've got the ability to think you're a pig, then they have the ability to feel negative emotions. That's true. But they do not have the cogn uh, cognitive ability to understand what is going on. Would a pig sense something bad were going to happen if it sees other pigs being killed? That's a good question. I have no idea. I do know that pigs are very intelligent animals which is why I chose a pig. Would you rather a pig live a life in the wild or on a farm? I think the wild would be better. Pigs have been domesticated for thousands of years. Now, I don't know if she was making uh, like a point with that second statement. It's a robot, she, so she didn't... There was no nuance there, text. She could have drove that point in and we could have argued about that there. But, but we didn't. Which is, which is good. <laughs> I think the wild would be better. So that was basically it there. Do you think you should gain pleasure from a pig having a sad life? I think that would depend on the person. Some people are more empathetic to animals than others. So here we go then. Um... Do you think uh, it should have a sad life? So she said it would be happier in the wild. Uh, it's not happy. It's less happy on a farm. So is she going to choose the pleasure um, from torture or from the pig having a sad life? Or is she going to choose pleasure from the carrot and the pig having a happy life? Do you think all people should be more empathetic towards animals? I think everyone should have a little more empathy for animals. It would make the world a better place. If you have empathy for a pig, then why would you choose to kill a pig rather than a carrot? Carrots don't taste as good as bacon. That's why I love bacon. You derive pleasure from suffering. I guess that's true. Do you think you should? I think we should all strive to be more compassionate to each other. Yes. If you have empathy for a pig, would you kill it? I would not kill it for food. I would use it as a companion for my children. Now, that was such a random turn of events, like, for this AI thing. 
hello you there um to to all of a sudden say that she's not gonna kill it for food at the start she said she was gonna and now she says she's gonna use it as a companion for her children yet again that's another end of the vegan debate argument thing about pets and everything um I didn't carry on with it there. I will come back to this and have some good debates. Um, but yeah, check out the the video that's going to follow on from this, or maybe be in front of this. Joey Carbstrong, go subscribe, is an amazing dude. Um, link might be in the description if I get around to putting it in there. I should do, because it's naughty if I don't. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Cheers and gone. Uh, oh, P.S. I think. Okay, so it's another night and we're in another farm, this time pigs. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go through this farm and we're going to see what these animals are going through. Let's go and check it out and I'm going to show you guys what people pay for when they consume bacon and other pork products. Let's go. So we've just come in here to this barn and all the pigs have, they're thinking it's feeding time because they've all come up to say hello. Hello. Hello guys. Hello darling. These pigs will all be killed in gas chambers generally. They're a bit like big puppy dogs pigs. They're my favorite animal. So these beans, they're probably at about slaughter weight right now. So they're not too far off from going to the gas chamber, which is a horrible way to die. The gas burns them, their eyes, their wet noses, inside their lungs. And they suffer in these cages, uh, dungeons filled with gas. It's a horrible way to die. Um, they're on air for about six months and then that's it. They go to get slaughtered and chopped up and put on someone's plate. They might not actually be going to slaughter. They might be actually used to bear piglets. Look at the condition on this one here. And if you see that the farmers have marked them with spray paint. They're objectified and marked with spray paint. Different colors, different codes. These, these pens are just covered in feces here, so. Yeah, you know what? These are sows. These are sows. These will be, there's no males in here. These will be bred for, to produce piglets, and then they'll go into the farrowing sheds. I think, I honestly believe these are the holding pens. So this means they've been served. Okay, so now we know what this facility is. These mothers here are in between bearing young, so they'll get bred again and go into those horrible places, the farrowing sheds, where they're stuck in a cage. They bear their piglets. So what happens is they have a gestation period after breeding, and then they get moved into farrowing crates when, where their piglets will essentially feed off of them while they're stuck in this cage. Horrible places, so they'll probably be slaughtered around two or three years old. Um, once they're done using them for what comes out of their body, they're taking their piglets away from them, essentially. Piglets will be grown and slaughtered. So these are mothers, these are exploited mothers in this barn here. All right, so we found some more sows in here. They're in a separate pen here. This one here looks very sick and sad. Pale, flies all over her. Let's see if we can get a close up here, I wanna show you. So these are pork stalks or um, an insemination device. Um, they use these to inseminate the animals. Ear tags as well. So these here are the boys. They're the boars that they use to inseminate. They must be harvesting the semen from these boys and then using artificial insemination method here. So this is a massive breeding facility essentially. There's a bunch of sows, there's the males here. We've got insemination devices here. Um, they're, they're basically breeding these animals to use for their piglets. Let's keep going. I want to show you guys something. This is the suffering that bacon causes. 